Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a 3D text effect in Canva. And I'm going to use one of the apps to do this. So I am using the new Glow Up Canva, so that's why it might look a little different than the Canva you're using, but it all, it all leads to the same result. So once you've opened your version of Canva, I've gone for a YouTube thumbnail size, but you can, you can adjust to whatever size suits your project best. So the first thing we're going to go to is apps and um, within apps, we're looking for an icon or a little app called text maker. So this is what it looks like. It has a, a yellow T on a blue background. So when we click on it, it might ask you to open it. I've already opened it. So that's why it's uh, it's going straight to to the app itself. So like other apps within Canva, it's you just Basically, you change your text to whatever whatever word or a couple of words you want. So I am gonna go. I'm gonna go B O L D, and this is the first one in the in the app. So when we go to the bottom, so you can scroll through to the right, and it'll give you a selection of them. But if you click on See All, it gives you then like. A whole range it's of different within text effects, effects, which is there's just lots of different ones available. Bonding. So, so it's we have 3D, gold, comic, graffiti, neon, retro, metal, fire, and tattoo. And then within each of them is another whole range. So, if we click on the gold and see all, it then gives you all of these um, these different options, which is you know really really good, like the golden. It's yeah, it's brilliant. Like it doesn't work with with that font, but um, yeah, you could change it into into a different in a, into a different font, or you could go for, you know, <laughs> any of them. There's so many. Like it's well worth having a having a read through them and um, seeing what what ones worth work the best. So I am gonna go with one called Majestic. And um and see see how we can change it. So once you have selected the text effect that you're going to go with, then you can change the font. So that also depends on the text effect that you've gone for. So the one that I have picked works better with a sans serif font. It doesn't really work with a with a script font. I'll just show you how it looks. So. It's a bit, it gets a bit um hard to read. Um, it also could be to do with the fact that they're all caps. Just show you how it is. So yeah, it like works better with with um with upper and lowercase. But I um I want to to use all uppercase. So I'm just gonna go with a sans serif. So I like one called candle. So then we can look at the letter spacing. So you can move the, the letters away, but you can also bring them together. And when you bring them together, the outline of the gold actually disappears, which is really, um, really effective because that's kind of sometimes difficult to do, difficult enough to do. And you can also change then the line height. So that depends if you have another, another line. You can then um, you can bring them closer together or move them further apart. And once again, the the gold disappears um, when the, when they join together. So that's really good. And then you basically just so sorry. I'm just gonna get rid of that second word. And we're gonna separate them out slightly. And then well, all you have to do then is click Add to Design. And then it will add it to your artboard, and then you can increase the size of it as as you wish. You can also go in and you can change the color of it, which is really good as well. So um, so this is the like typography section of it, like your font and what effect you're actually picking. But when you click on color, it'll then allow you to adjust the actual fill colors. The outline colors, the shadows, and the three D depth colors. So, so if we just click on fill colors, it brings up this kind of gradient section, and then you can you can click on each of the circle, and then just below that, you can either delete all of these selected points, or you can change the color 
by clicking on gradient stop color. So I just make it something completely different so you can see. So then, so then that whole section now is pink. So you can do that with, with each of them to, to change the, the look of your, of your lettering completely. So it's, it's really versatile and it's really good, I think. So once you click add to design, you can't actually, some of the, some of the Canva apps, you can go back in and you can change them like, um, like the Typecraft one, I think you can go back in and adjust it. But this is once you click add design, add to design, it will, um, it will generate a new, a new piece of artwork for you. So, so we'll just delete that one. I'm going to make this one the main, the main design. And then once you're done, you can click then edit and it'll bring you into your, your general like um, Magic Studio and you can change, you can change the filters on it to like Flint, Luna, Arrow, and then you can also add shadows to it um, like, you know, like it was just a, a, a font or a, an image. So I think it's really good. It's really effective. And within a couple of minutes, you have a 3D word that before would have taken you forever. So it's uh, I think it's amazing. So if you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe.